sand just feels great on your toes. Oh. No? <laughs> No, this isn't right. What do you mean, what isn't right? Oh, you've got your shoes on. <laughs> oh, now isn't that better? Huh? Yes, much better. Oh. Oh. I wish this didn't have to end. Oh, so do I. your wife. Yes, I know. Why is she so difficult? Let's not talk about her. Let's talk about us. But how can we, Estelle? I mean, if we're ever going to be together, something has got to be done about Marjorie. Well, something will be done. What? I don't know, but uh, you'll think of something. You bet I will. We're going back to L.A. tomorrow, and I'm going to see Johnson, my lawyer, and get something started. I'm afraid, Mr. Hoggill, that, uh, lacking an agreement between the parties involved, there's just no way of being free of your wife. You mean this, that there's nothing you can do for me? I could take action if she provided the grounds, you know, mental or physical cruelty, perhaps. But you've indicated there's nothing in that area. No, 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 no. Mar Marjorie's not like that. And you are the one who deserted. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Johnson. Look, I assure you that I'm quite serious. I have no intention of ever going back to Marjorie. I see. You uh, mentioned having been away for a couple of months. Had the thought occurred to you that... Uh, Women, not accustomed to living alone, sometimes seek the uh, companionship of others. Oh, yes, yes. Well, Marjorie has a lot of friends, you know. That wasn't what I meant. I, I had reference to the uh, companionship of the opposite sex. Oh, no, Mr. Johnson. Oh, not Marjorie. <laughs> no, I, I'd bet on that. That may be so, but it does seem my only promising possibility. <laughs> Yes, I'm sure, but you, you, you obviously don't know much, Mr. Johnson. Well, it is an avenue that we'll bear looking into, at any rate. I'm going to send a man around to see you. His name is uh, Bates. Now, where are you staying? Well, I'm staying at the gallery for the moment. Uh, this man, Bates, uh, is he a detective? Yes, he is, and you'll find him most discreet and quite capable. And if there is any... Uh, uh, activity in the field to which I had reference, he'll be the one to uncover it. Well, frankly, I think this is a waste of time, Mr. Johnson, but, uh, well, I suppose if it's the only thing to do, we've, we've got to do it, haven't we? It was yesterday that it happened. I had the 4 p.m. to midnight watch myself, you see. Look, I don't care who had the watch, Bates. Just get to the point. Uh, all right. Ah, here we are. At 8.05 p.m., the subject left the house in the company of a man who called for her in his car. They seemed on good terms with each other. And then... You can stop right there, Bates, and explain that point. Since you ask, she kissed him when she got into the convertible. She what? Kissed him in the convertible? A black convertible with a white top. Rather fancy, if I may say so, but to go on. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. go on, Bates. They drove to the Sky House, where they held hands and had three martinis. Three? Marjorie? Marjorie had three martinis? Three martinis. They left the Sky House at 10.07, went to the Club Royale on the Strip for supper and dancing, returning to the house at 11.51 p.m. Well, and then, Bates? And then, it was midnight, Mr. Howgill. The male escort was still in the house when I was forced to abandon the watch. You mean to tell me, Bates, you abandoned the watch when the guy was still on, on, on the premises? Please, sir, you could hardly expect me to work into the third watch when it hadn't been agreed upon. But I dare say it would have worked out to your advantage had I been able to do so. Yes, well, do it then, Bates. I want to know everything, the whole story. The third watch, then? Yes, Bates. The third watch.
just isn't the same since we came back from Acapulco. Just not the same. Uh, I'm sorry, Estelle. What did you say? Oh, never mind. You don't even know that I'm here. Oh, of course I know you're here. Well, you give very little evidence of it. Once more, I've come to the conclusion that you don't even want a divorce. I think you'd like to be rid of me and go back to her. Oh, Stell, that's not true. Not true at all. Isn't it? No. Hello? It's for you. Yes? What? It's the only car left. What? No, no, no. You don't need to do anything more, Bates. No, you've done quite enough already. Yes? Yeah, I'll handle it from here on. No, no, of course I wouldn't do anything like that. Yes, I said I'll handle it from here on. Yeah. Goodbye. And just what are you going to handle? Or maybe I should say, who are you going to handle? Marjorie or me? Oh, come, come, Estelle. Evidently, it hasn't occurred to you that I might be very interested in the status of your marriage. Oh, but I, I wouldn't. Uh... No, no, you're too interested in looking at your watch and keeping phony business appointments. Well, for your information, Mr. Howgill, I have finally had it. I am calling it quits. Oh, no, you can't. No, no, I refuse to play nursemaid to that battered psyche of yours any longer. Goodbye, Mr. Howell. Uh, uh, good. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Estelle. thought I'd uh, drop by. Oh. Well, I'm glad you did. You're uh, glad? Yes. Why, why should you be glad? Why? Yes. Well, I suppose it's because it's been so long since I've seen you. Oh, yes, yes. It certainly has been a long time since you've seen me, but uh, I expect you've been keeping yourself uh, fully occupied lately, eh? Well, I've managed to keep busy, yes. How, Marjorie? How? Yes. Oh, I've uh, been to the Bridge Club, and I visited my cousin in San Francisco. I saw a few plays, and I developed a few new uh, hobbies. Oh, really? But you wouldn't be interested in those. Uh, on the contrary, I would be most interested in those. Uh, what uh, sort of hobbies, Marjorie? Well, mosaics, for one thing. Mosaics, eh? Oh, uh, uh, nothing else? But Jim, why are you so curious? Oh, Marjorie, don't, uh, don't you know? Should I know? Oh, come, Marjorie. Now, look, you haven't just been playing around with mosaics. I mean, you've acquired some new and interesting friends now, haven't you? Well, how did you know about them? Them? Well, I mean, I've talked a lot about you. Is it, did someone happen to mention it to you? Oh, so you admit it, eh? You admit you've been getting around a bit lately. Well, you've been having a very gay time, eh? Well, of course. Good heavens, I might have but known. Jim. Well, it wasn't the same as being with you. Mm. Well, Jim, I... 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 Oh, Marjorie, it's... So nice to be home again. Why, why don't you stay, darling? Believe me, I'll never leave you alone again. Mm. Mm. Hello, Mr. 
Mrs. Howgill. I, uh, I thought you were in New York. Darling, that's films for you. I fully expected to be gone today, but it's just been one conference after another. Oh, yes, of course. Darling, did you find my cigarette lighter? Oh, yes, yes. I just have it right here in oh, the drawer. Oh, good. Niles would never forgive me if I'd lost it. Now, where is that? I've just... Oh, here it is. Oh, Jim. <laughs> this is my husband. Jim, I'd like to have you meet Miss Perry. Oh, how do you do, Miss Perry? How do you do? Here you are, dear. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Miss Perry sublet the house for the past month while I was away in San Francisco. Oh, yeah, Miss Perry sublet the house the whole time you were in San Francisco. Well, I do hope the house wasn't left in too much of a mess. I had the cleaners in before. I... Oh, not at all, dear. Everything looked beautiful, thank you. And I do know that your neighbors will be relieved you're back. Oh, well, why should they be, Miss Perry? Well, I had a couple of rather noisy parties, especially the last one. Well, I really must fly now. Uh, yes, Bye. goodbye, dear. Goodbye, Mr. Hargill. Goodbye, Miss Perry. You, you mean, Marjorie, that, 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 that uh, she sublet the house and all the time you were away? Yes, darling, I told you. While I was in San Francisco to Cousin Bridget. Wasn't it lucky that I could supplant it for the whole month? Yes. Yes, darling. Um, very lucky.